Hello, 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 and welcome back to Stardew Valley. I'm Evie Greenbottle, and today we are working on our final week of Spring 1. And our copper axe is ready for us to pick up, which is really exciting. And it is going to mean that we're going to need to go over to Clint with some more copper bars. And we're going to get our pickaxe upgraded next. And it's going to be really exciting to get our axe back because we are going to be able to chop down some trees and then finally get some hard wood, which is going to make a little bit of a difference. So let's just get ourselves organized, get our chores done on the farm, and then we need to head into town. There are so many things to water. Oh my goodness, but it's only going to get worse, I suppose, until we figure out sprinklers. And actually, with some sprinklers in and you know what? I never bother with the basic sprinklers like the ones that only water four tiles around to me that doesn't like do much it's kind of just a waste of resources I'd rather just spend the time watering the four tiles that it's going to water when it gets to be the eight and all the surrounding tiles that's when I usually go for it all right now that everything is watered I think we're ready to head into town thank you so much Clint this is looking fantastic and then we need to upgrade our tools and we're going to upgrade our pickaxe next. That's going to help us in the mines just move a little faster. And it's I think it's just a worthwhile upgrade. All right, Jody and Vincent. Hello, how are you doing? I think it's important we talk to our neighbors. I want to be kind of friends with everybody. So we do need to talk to our neighbors as often as possible. Apparently, Jody is our best friend at the moment. I guess that's because we've done a few quests for her. We've given her... What did she want? She wanted a cauliflower before. She wanted something else. So we've given them to her. So she's our best friend. But who we really want to become friends with is Caroline. And I have been carrying around this daffodil for Caroline because we want to be best friends with her for the simple reason of the tea leaves. And eventually she's going to invite us into her greenhouse and we're going to be able to get tea leaves. And that is quite a good way to make money early game. So I want to kind of focus on that. We need to be getting some wood to make some more preserve jars because they are a good way to make money. If we can make preserves with all of the different vegetables and fruit that we get, it is worth more than just selling the standard vegetable. And plus they look so pretty now with all the different colors. So I want to be making pickles and I want to be making jellies. So we are going to need lots and lots of wood. The other thing is looks nice because we've got our up upgraded axe now. So actually we can do this a bit faster. Stone and our copper to make some more preserved jars. And there we go. That's good. But we are once again out of resources. Still lacking in the wood department, but we'll get it. We'll get there eventually. It's just, it does, they do take a lot of wood. And early days getting wood is just absolutely exhausting. Like we've used all of our energy and we just cut down like what, four or five trees. It's crazy. Well, let's grab some veggies and stick them in here. How about some nice pickled carrots and pickled green beans? I don't think I've ever had pickled carrots or pickled green beans before, but why not? All right, we are absolutely exhausted, so I think it is time to head to bed. And we've made a little bit of money off of our mayonnaises, but not much. All right, on to day 23. Oh, we've got a bit of mail, but we also got our parsnips. So let's just grab our parsnips really quick into our preserve jar. And look, oh, tomorrow everyone's gathering for the flower dance. Now, admittedly, the flower dance is my least favorite festival of all of them, because especially in year one, you need what? I think it's four hearts before someone will say yes to you, which is definitely possible. You can do that. I just don't focus on friendships very much in the first year. Like we are focusing on Caroline, of course, because we want to get the tea sapling, but I'm not really focused on anyone else. I'm not really focused on romancing anyone in this playthrough yet. So we'll have to see about the flower dance. Let's head into town because we're going to get some seeds. What seeds do we want? Oh, we've only got, what, five days? So I guess if we grow parsnip seeds, then they will be ready in four days. Plus then we're nice and close to come and give another flower, of course, to Caroline. Yes, that's two gifts this week, which is already very good. And then let's just get our seeds popped in the ground really quick. There we go, good enough. And we'll get these watered. And then at least we'll get one more harvest before the end of the season, because spring is not the most lucrative season. You don't make tons of money off of the like produce that you get. All right, let's cut down some more trees so that we can make a couple more of those preserved jars. And just because we're super lacking in wood, but there's tons of things and we need to clear out some space on our farm because it's very full. It's difficult to walk around still and we haven't really had a chance to like clean much up. It's hard when your tools aren't very good. So you just get so exhausted so quickly. All right, lots of area to clear out. Let's also gather some hay because we haven't really done much of that. And with the new season coming in just a couple of days, it will all grow back. So we might as well get a bit stored up. Oh, and we had some rice over there. So that was good. Grab some of our unmilled rice as well. Oh, and we found some moss. How did we get some moss? Stick some more copper in the furnace because we're always going to need more of that and make another preserved jar. Excellent. But now we are too low on coal. It does really eat up your resources very quickly. Let's head down and just do some exploring because we haven't found a single spring onion and I match. Yeah, there are some here. See, 
this is our first set of spring onions we have found the whole season. The season's nearly over. We need these. Cute. Excellent. Anything else interesting down here? Other than this dandelion. We'll take the dandelion. Might as well do a bit of foraging. We're out of energy, so we can't actually do anything else anyway. So we may as well just have a little wander through the woods, picking up what we can. And we could go visit our little friend Hat Mouse. Hello, Hat Mouse. You don't have very many hats at the moment. Good old cap and the Sue Wester and the straw hat. But we already have the straw hat. So I guess it's just time for us to head to bed. Ooh, level four foraging. Ooh, and this is new. The mushroom log. Okay, so we can grow our own mushrooms on the mushroom log. I wonder if that means you should choose the bat cave over the mushroom cave. Although, to be fair, I actually really... Well, I don't know. The fruit bats give you fruit, but you can get fruit trees. And then the mushroom cave gives you mushrooms, but now you can get a mushroom log. Oh, look, we've made a bit of money. The pickled cauliflower being worth 400 compared to a regular cauliflower 175. Definitely worth it to pickle it. It just takes so long, that's all. Now, I think for this playthrough, when we do get offered the cave thing, I will choose the mushrooms, but only because in my last playthrough, I chose the fruit bats and I'd like to do the mushrooms this time, but we'll have to see. Is time for the flower dance, of course. So, of course, the weather's going to be lovely because we need to go and do some dancing. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to actually do any dancing. We're going to talk to our neighbors, say hello to everyone. Do a little bit of shopping here. Is there anything we can buy? Actually, do you know what? We're probably not going to do any shopping. The rare crow I'd actually really like to get, but I don't think it's worth it to spend the money on it right now. We'll get it next year. These wallflowers, the sunflower wallflowers, are my favorite decorations for my house. But again, I can't justify spending that money right now. We've got way other things we need to spend money on. So let's have a little chat with some of our neighbors. We don't have enough friendship with anybody, so... We're not going to be dancing today. But we can say hello to everyone, increase those friendships for later, and maybe next year we'll have a dance partner. Maybe. No, probably. By year two, you'd have a somebody, right? Surely. Even if you've just done enough quests for everybody. I want to know, who do you romance in Stardew Valley? Who is your go-to wife or husband or partner? Because I typically just go for, well, my very first part, uh, husband, I suppose, was Harvey. And I've also married Penny. And I've also married Leah. I think in this playthrough, I'm keen to try to do the get Krobus as a roommate. Also, did you notice that the wizard was up here? I <laughs> don't know if I've ever seen, like, notice he's up there before. There's no way to talk to him, though, I don't think. Hello, wizard. Can I shout up to you? No, we cannot shout up to the wizard. That's a bit unfair. We, can't ju we just can't talk to him. All right, let's start this dance festival. No one's going to be our dance partner today. The other thing that's always annoyed me about this as well is why does everyone else get to wear a fancy outfit, but ours never changes, so then we just stick out like a sore thumb. It doesn't matter where we, like, if we're on which side we're on. I'm not wearing a blue suit, but I'm also not wearing a white dress, and I don't get to change, which I just think it's a bit sad. I'd like to be changed into the correct outfit to do the dance as well. Or maybe I'm just happy to watch. Maybe that's fine too. All right, the end of the festival. That was fun. It's time to go home and straight to bed because it is awfully late already. All right, didn't make very much money, of course, because we've only, I think, turned in that one mayonnaise. But that's okay. Start of day 25. And it's a rainy day. Ooh, the bookseller's in town and our copper pickaxe is ready. So we definitely need to be going into town. There's going to be lots to do. And we've got our pickled carrots and pickled green beans. I love how they're different colors now. It's looking good. But we're going to head into town and we're going to do some fishing. Now, we need to catch a catfish and an eel. Both of those are rainy day fish in the spring that we don't yet have. But the catfish I know is quite tricky to catch. So let's just see if we're able to catch it. We got a hit. And this does not feel like a catfish. Catfishes are far more wiggly and squiggly than this. I was thinking though, we do have a bit of money. I wonder if it would be worthwhile to upgrade our fishing rod increased. Oh yeah, cause look, this is a catfish. And yeah, that was really a big struggle. All right, let's try again though. I do think upgrading the fishing rod would not be a terrible idea. I know a lot of people find the fishing in Stardew Valley very, very difficult. And I agree, it is quite hard. My biggest tip is if you're playing on mouse and keyboard, use the C key instead of your mouse to try to catch it. And my other upgrade, or up, my other tip is 
I've got two more, I guess. Upgrade your fishing rod as soon as you can, because it does make it way easier. But also, use the crab pots to gain fishing skill. So you don't need to actually do any fishing. You can just, once you get the crab pots unlocked, you can use the crab pots and empty them every day and refill them every day. And we'll upgrade your fishing skill without actually having to fish, which does make it easier to do fishing later on. Hey, a fish smoker. Hey, that's really cool. 10,000 though for this recipe, but that's definitely new. We're definitely gonna want that in flounder bait. Increases the chance to catch flounder. Why would you want that? Am I missing something? Why would you want flounder bait? Don't know, but I think we're gonna get the uh, fiberglass rod here. Now the fiberglass rod can use bait, so we'll just buy a little bit. I don't wanna spend too much money on this because we do actually have bug meat at home that we could turn into bait, so we don't technically need to buy it, but I don't wanna have to run all the way home. Now, getting this better rod is only going to be marginally better. It's not going to be like way better. Having the bait means the fishing rate will go up, which is good is then we'll just be doing things faster. So even if there's failures, at least they'll be like quicker in between. <laughs> All right, see, look, we already caught something straight away. That was really good. This is not a catfish, but we'll take a shot, I guess, and then cast our line back in. I guess any fish is good. I mean, we'll make a bit of money, but... All right, another hit. Let's see, what do we got? Ooh, okay. Um, This one's a bit wigglier. Yes, okay. Oh dear, no, that was terrible. Right, that was probably our catfish. Now, I think at least with the catfish, if we don't manage to catch it now, it will be back again in the fall. And by fall, I would imagine we'd have our best quality rod. At least I'd hope so. I don't know. It's not cheap though, is it? Plus it's not that expensive. Oh, though, I just thought of something. The bookseller is in town today. So we've just spent our money on a new rod. Although I don't know if we'd get a book anyways. The books are quite expensive. I mean, they're really good, some, some of the upgrades, but I think the fishing rod was still important. Because the bookseller is not going to help me finish the community center. A better fishing rod could help us. Because at some point, we need to catch a sturgeon. And they are very slippery. I, I guess as slippery maybe as the catfish, but no, I think they're worse. No, I don't know. All right, it's been a very busy fishing day. But let's just go up to the bookseller and see what they've got, because maybe they'll surprise us. All right, what do we have? Uh, the mining monthly? Oh, so that's different than last time. But the way of the wind's the same, and the horse, the book's the same, and old slither legs, and then the price catalog as well. If we're gonna do a bit more fishing, why don't we bring some sea jelly this time? Because that gives us a bonus to our fishing skill. And then we'll also bring some bug meat so we can craft some bait and we don't need to bring our old fishing rod. Let's go out to the ocean. We need to get a eel. That's the other rainy day fish in the spring. So let's go fish over by this rock. I think this rock is better for eel rates, but I am not sure. That could be wrong. But right, here we go. We've got something already. Come on, Mr. Fish, stay on my hook. Oh, and look at that eel on our very first catch. That has gone very well. Okay, so I guess we don't need to do any more ocean fishing. So let's get back to the river. I don't know if you can find catfish in the evening. I don't know what time. I thought catfish may have been morning fish that you can only catch them in, but I could be wrong about that as well. Oh, but we've got some new ideas to sleep on. So we have leveled up in fishing, which is good. I love that it tells you now when you have new ideas to sleep on. Like, that's a nice feature. It's now way into the night. We've caught quite a few fish, but we're just going to go try our hand at a bit of mountain lake fishing. I'm not sure. I think we can catch the um, largemouth bass. I don't know what time until, though. It might have already been past, actually. I think, actually, the largemouth bass is only until 7 p.m. But we've got a chub, and we might as well just use off the last of our energy doing some fishing today. It's a rainy day. Why not? Though I suppose we could have used this energy to chop wood, but no. Fishing. Tons and tons of fishing. Man, we spent the whole day fishing, and let me tell you, that reeling in sound, that like squidgy reeling in sound, I have come to hate. I've come to hate that squidgy reeling in sound. It's horrendous. But with that final catch, it's time to head to bed. Although, ooh, summer squash seeds. I found a little wiggly worm on the way home. Level three fishing, of course. We've literally spent the entire day fishing. And we've unlocked a new crafting recipe for the crab pot. That could be good. We typically don't make crab pots though. I just wait till we get them free from the community center. Made quite a bit of money off of random things. Our pickled carrots, our pickled green beans, not worth a ton, but worth more than, oh, and pickled parsnip as well. Worth more than the standard item at least. I think it's almost about double. And I think that's quite good. Now fishing, look at that. Fantastic. And I think even a second page, not too much on the second page, but yes, tons of money made from fishing today. And on to day 26. Ooh, and we've got all of our spring forageables finished. 
which is good. We could sell these, but we could also keep some of them for making more spring seeds, I suppose. I've been, I think I've been keeping the non-starred ones. So the ones that have stars, I've been selling, but then the ones that are not starred, just like the plain ones, I've been keeping. All right, let's get everything watered here and just get our chores all done for the end of the season. And Robin wants some help. 20 pieces of wood, they need to be fresh, but we'll get an orange coupon, which is great. We definitely want one of those special tickets. All right, let's go to see Clint. And we're going to ask him to but process some of our geodes. We've got a few now. And let's see if we can get anything new. Okay, a bit of sandstone. I think the sandstone actually is new for us. That's good. Great, nothing too much in there. Omni geodes, what you got for us? Ooh, a dwarf gadget. That's good. We can make a computer. I mean, we won't. This one will go straight into the museum, I'm sure. But, oh, I like that one. That's pretty blue. All right, some good things. Take it. All right, let's drop these off in the museum. And add a few more things to our collections. Ooh, and a new reward. I yeah, got quite a few new items in here. Still trying to do something vaguely rainbowy. There will have to be some rearranging happening at some point. New reward. Oh, it's just a picture. The decorations I typically just leave here until we're ready. Our house isn't expanded enough to need them anyway, so. Because we need to just cut some trees for Robin. We need 20 pieces of wood so we can go to Robin, drop the wood off, and then we can get a ticket. Just empty some of this extra stuff out of our inventory. And we'll drop this off to Robin, and then I think we will head straight into the mines. All right. Hello, Robin. Go oh, behind the counter. There we go. And we've got our nice prize ticket for gathering the wood. Plus, we get 160 gold for that. So that was a fantastic thing to do. Can we construct some farm? I want to take a look at how much things cost. 6,000 for the barn. We're actually really close to being able to afford that. Lots of wood and stone, though. We definitely don't have the wood. We've been a bit a bit short on that, but it would be good because to start getting the other barn animals, we do need those things. Ooh, look, the pet bowl. 5,000 gold and then some hard wood to get a new pet bowl. Ooh, the big coop that would also be good. We could then get ducks. 10,000 gold and then some wood and stone that we definitely don't have. A little bit of ways away from that, I guess, at the moment, but getting ducks would be great because we can make duck mayonnaise and duck mayonnaise is a good moneymaker, to be honest. All right, but nothing for today, unfortunately. The house upgrade, though. 10,000 gold and 450 pieces of wood. And that would get us our kitchen, which we do need also for the community center because you need to be able to make the maki rolls and also a fried egg. So we're going to have to have a kitchen at some point. But it's not going to be today. Now, we have a prize ticket, but we're going to go into the mines first. Got to find the staircases down there. There we go. Oh, watch out for the bat. Now we need to just find our staircase down. Yes, we'll get some rocks along the way. We actually do need stone for some of those upgrades in those barn buildings. But mostly, I just want a staircase down. There we go. Okay. All right. Ooh, some more materials. And we can get these guys. They might get us some coal. But, ow, mostly we're just taking a lot of damage from them. Come on. Go away. Thank you. <laughs> and our iron ores. Tons of iron ore over there. We're going to be out of energy, though. Let's be... Hopefully, one of these ones has the staircase underneath. Because, yeah, this our energy is depleting. Right, let's get the slime. I still haven't found the staircase down. I don't remember. Did we check to see if it was a lucky day or not? I don't know. We may be a little unlucky because we are not finding that stair easily. There we go. Okay, found one. Oh, do we still need one more level down though? And we are exhausted. Oh, but you know what? If we check out those crates after we fight this bat, we might be able to get a cave carrot that could keep us in the mines a little bit longer. Okay, we did find a cave carrot. Let's eat that. And now we just need to hope that we find the staircase down quite quickly. All right, an aquamarine. That's nice. We'll take the shiny blue rock. Come on, staircase. I just need to go down one level. Oh, no. Okay. No. No. This is not happening. Okay. We're just going to have to leave. That's really unfortunate. But let's, uh, that, uh does Lewis Matt care if we come late? He's not even home anyways. It doesn't matter. All right. Let's turn in our ticket. And we've got a sapling. Is it a new? No, oh, it's an orange sapling. Hold on. What is this, though? Okay. We've got some sort of seeds, a mystery box, and some sort of drink. Uh, but I just, wait, didn't we buy an orange sapling? We already bought an orange sapling. That is devastating, actually. Oh, what is this special delivery? These are those, like, mystery boxes. Does he know he's, like, dropping these all over the valley? Probably he does. But here we go. Mystery boxes can now be found. Can now be found where, though? Interesting. Mystery boxes can now be found somewhere we can find mystery boxes. Ooh, how exciting. All right, pickled carrots and some mayonnaise. Making us some money. And our foraging things, of course. It's not a ton of money, but, you know, it all adds up. Another 1800 today. We'll take it. All right, on to day 
27, our penultimate day of spring. And our parsnips are ready. We won't be planting anything else, of course. But that means we've cut down on our chores for this morning a little bit at least. And since we don't have too much to do on the old farm today, I think we head back into the mines for a big mining expedition because we still have quite good energy. Although actually it's down more than I expected it to be after just a little bit of watering. It was very little to water. But hopefully we get lucky today and we can get the staircases down pretty quickly. There we go. This has been lucky so far. And we're getting some good resources here. I think we do the fighting. I'd like to get like the mob stuff done fairly quickly. And last time when I did a 100% run, some of the mobs were like trickier. These little dust sprites things were actually ones that were like one of the last ones for me to actually complete. So if we have, if we see them, we could get them. It's not a terrible idea. Get rid of this slime. Shoo, shoo, there we go. And of course we got a free staircase down, that's good. Ooh, okay, and, oh, some new boots, tundra boots. These are the Uggs of Stardew Valley. We'll put those on. Oh, and we're finding ghosts now. That's right, just ghost. You can get hit while I hit the slime. Oh, and he gave us a way down. But we'll just clear the mobs out. Ghosts are very annoying to kill, though, when you don't have a very good weapon. Because, of course, you knock them back and then they go like out the wall. So then you can't even hit them. So you always have to try to like hit them into a way that they're not going out the walls. Right, come over here all the way over and then hit you. And then there we go. This is kind of working. <laughs> we don't want to hit them too far away. Because it just really drags out the process here. Oh, and it's such a long process anyways. Come on. This is wasting my whole day. Oh, but only hitting them for only like three to five points is just, it's not very good. There we go. And some solar essences, which is nice. My topaz, very nice. And we're continuing on. Look, little jumpy guys dropping us some coal. Excellent. Oh, and a bag. Nice. Filled with more coal. Good. You can never have too much coal, to be honest. There we go. Oh, and we found a book, a monster compendium. Monsters have a small chance to drop double loot. What? Read that then. We've learned a new power. Oh, that's so fantastic. So monsters have a chance to drop double the loot. That is, oh, that's good. So now we've got like a permanent skill, I think. All right, let's run downstairs. We need to go down one more floor and then we'll have made it 10 today, which is actually really, really good. Some quality retaining soil. I'll take it. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I could be bothered with this bat and this ghost. Oh, they're so annoying. Okay. I mean, the bat's not too bad, but the ghost is very annoying. So let's come over here. So at least we're hitting the slime while we hit the ghost. Ooh, it was a critical hit on that one though. So we'll take a critical hit any day. All right, come on, we'll get these guys. Let's wait for the ghost to come closer to us. I'm not focusing on him. It's just he gets hit, but then things get hit. Ow, we have taken significant damage though, I'd say. Oh, good, but somebody dropped the staircase for us. That's nice. Just get rid of this bat. Although, ow, watch our health because it's getting a bit low. All right, this is the last floor we need to go down. Fantastic, there we go. The clink of the elevator. Ah, oh, so good. Oh, not another ghost. Come on, man. Get out of here. <laughs> oh, the little dust sprites come over. Ow, we've taken a little bit more damage. Our health is so low. It is actually like a bit scary. We haven't yet had any time where we've collapsed, I don't think. We've never had to be rescued by anybody. I don't particularly want to start now. I just want this ghost to go away. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, no, we've woken, we woke the bat up. There we go. All right, let's leave because we are having a bit of a low health problem and we'll head straight to bed. Ah, oh, and we leveled up farming, rancher or tiller. So crops could be worth more or animal products worth more. Now we don't have tons of animal products at the moment. The only thing would be eggs, but we're turning those actually into mayonnaise. So we're not actually getting those, but I'm going to go for it anyways, because I think it's the one that gets us to the artisan. So then artisan products are worth more. I think I could be wrong, but let's just go for it and see. We can always change it later on if we have chosen poorly, which is completely possible. All right, it's the final day of the season. Now, one of the things, oh, we've learned how to cook an omelet, that's good. One of the things that I was really hoping to get done in spring, but we didn't was getting our barn in or the upgraded chicken coop, but we haven't gotten that far yet. Now, in theory, starting off with the coop has put us a bit further ahead because we already have a chicken coop, so we just have to get the upgraded versions now rather than buying the first version. But let's clear a space here. This is where we're going to be putting our barn. The barn costs 6,000 and we actually have enough money for it. We won't though tomorrow because of course at the start of a new season, we're going to be spending all of our money on seeds. 
But I think once we kind of get our first payout from our summer seeds, we'll be buying our barn. So let's get this area a little bit cleared out so that we are ready to put a barn in because it'd be great to get a cow so we can start getting some milk, but then also some cheese. It would help along with our community center quite a lot, but then also just help with like our general funds. Because of course, cheese is worth quite a bit. And at least getting this area cleared out is giving us a bit of a supply of wood because we definitely need more wood for the upgrades that we're going to want. And look at, look at Pickles there and Pumpkin and Squash. Our animals are looking pretty happy. A few things in there. I'm going to make a few food snacks. We've already used up all of our energy, which is a bit crazy. All we've done is cut down some trees. Oh boy. Energy does not last long. All right, let's make sure this area is really well cleared out. Head into town. Oh, uh, Willie wants someone to catch three anchovies. He's not willing to pay very much. 90 gold. Uh, but you get to keep the fish. I guess we could go down actually to the ocean. Go down to the beach and actually just see what's what. Oh, a lost library book. That's nice. Grab that while we're here. But we could try to keep the art of fishing alive. And let's just finish off this season with a bit of lovely fishing. All right. Can we catch three anchovies, though? That uh, is a sardine. We need anchovies. We found a flounder, which was our, our biggest one yet. Isn't that nice? And a herring, also not an anchovy. But at least our catch rate is pretty good. What have we got? We've got some new ideas to sleep on is what we've got. Oh, and an anchovy. There's just one. But our fishing skill is going to be leveling up, which is nice. And another sardine. Oh, a second anchovy. Okay, that's good. We're really close then. Oh my goodness. It's just sardine after sardine. And we're starting to feel exhausted. Oh boy. All right, if this isn't an anchovy, we're not going to make it. And of course, it's another sardine. So many sardines. Uh-oh, we're feeling sluggish from overexertion. I probably should have stopped. Because you know what we don't need to start off the next season with lack of energy, which is almost definitely what's going to happen. Oh boy, is this how we have to walk home now also? Oh dear. I suppose we could eat one of our fish and then we'd be able to run faster. It might be worth it if I'm honest. All right, we're going to eat one of our fish. There's no way I can just walk home like this. Uh, we'll eat a sardine. 25 energy. At least we can walk now. Oh, my goodness. All right, definitely mistakes were made with trying to get that fish. We probably should have just given up because now tomorrow, I think we're going to start the day with less energy, which is very bad. Oh, boy. Let's drop off all of our fish that we've caught today, though. I wonder if we should keep one of these. No, we won't keep any of them. I was thinking because it's iridium quality, maybe we want to keep that for the future, but we'll get more. It's fine. Let's just grab out a parsnip to put into the pickle jar, but also let's grab this mayonnaise that we can sell because we want to start off the new season with as much money as possible. Swap this out and sell both of those and head to bed. And it's the end of spring one. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I massively appreciate all of your support on these episodes. So thank you very much. Look at that. We've upgraded our fishing. And look, deluxe bait. That's new. Okay, very cool. And our recycling machine and worm bin are here now. Very good. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. So you don't miss any more of the fun while we complete the community center in the first year. Or at least we try really, really hard to. And I will see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.